So speaking of cause and effects, when your phone runs out of battery or space, that's the cause. The effect is it disconnects right in the middle of my talk. So we're gonna have to do this in two parts because I still haven't figured out how to link these things on YouTube, but whatever. Anyhow, so we just got one more. After we've embraced the fact that we're our own causes, we have this one more concept to work with, and I love this one, and it's magic in many ways. It's the law of gender. Everything has masculine qualities and everything has feminine qualities. In the physical world, because we've got boys and girls, everybody thinks gender is about being, you know, physical, spirit, uh, physical, physical. <laughs> it's not seeing it as, as spirituality as it is, okay? Now, masculine and feminine are traits that we have, masculine qualities and feminine qualities. What are the quickest ways to think of them? You know, what's some of the best ways? Feminine qualities, receptive, creative, nurturing, um, using your intuition. Masculine qualities are logical, assertive, protective, ex ex executing goals, things like that. All of us have, there's a lot more than that. So there's masculine qualities and there are feminine qualities, okay? Now that's my favorite way to apply it from a, per, uh, from a, a mental health perspective is learning how to, to do those qualities. But everything else has masculine and feminine qualities too. We do this with our hoses, right? The female and the male part of a hose, right? When you stick it into the, you know, the part and screw it together. Um, nuts and bolts have masculine and feminine qualities. I'll let you think that through, okay? Every aspect of being, neurons have masculine and feminine qualities. You have the axons and then you have receptors, okay? I'll let you figure that one out too. Each, each aspect of our being has a masculine and feminine quality. If I give you something, I'm being a giver and you're being the receiver, and now that's masculine and feminine. There's an exchange all the time. Giving of love, giving of light, masculine, receiving love, receiving light, feminine. And we were made in God's image, male and female. It has nothing to do with being physical, just like all of these things. We're all male and female, okay? Now we've manifested physically in a whole lot of diverse ways, but the way to do it spiritually is to realize I was made in God's image. I was made male and female. I was given qualities of masculinity and femininity. And I was giving the ability to be a giver and ability to be a receiver. Which is more important, the giver or the receiver? It depends. They're equal. Okay, it certainly depends in some ways, for sure. It depends on what's being given and what's being receiving, okay? It's all good. Um, if you can interact more, speak up. That's totally good. Uh, so the, the, the idea is this. You have masculine qualities, you have feminine qualities, and that can go many different directions as well. But the most important one is this. Given that we're trying from a mental health perspective to improve our lives, to feel better about ourselves, to achieve goals, you want both the masculine and the feminine characteristics. What does that do for you? It gives the ability to understand how to handle a situation. You can have an aggressive person, and if you overreact like a typical guy to an aggressive person, you're getting in a fight and other cops are showing up. Stereotypical, okay? Or someone's aggressive and you're meek, too feminine, if you will. And you're like, oh, I don't want to ruffle his feathers, and now you won't get anything done either. But what if you can both assert yourself while you're being nurturing to the other person, right? Well, that's merging these characteristics. What is ma taking masculine and feminine when it comes to sperm and egg? It's the act of creation. The act of creation, the end game of all this, is to take all this stuff and learn how to be a creator. Merge your masculine self with your feminine self. It is yin and yang, after all. And it's in each side, like in the yin and yang, a little bit of one is in the other. We all have these qualities, we're all male and female. Don't make that physical. I mean, it's true that there's boys and girls and a lot of diversity, but it's about these laws are all spiritual laws. They're energy laws like gravity that are working all the time, whether you know it or not, but it behooves us to learn what these qualities are, learn how to address them in our lives. We'll be talking more of this moving forward. In a couple of weeks, we'll be doing the alchemy aspect of it, which is using all this stuff and putting it into play. In terms of especially raising our vibration, that'll be alchemy, we'll do that next. But anyone that wants to go deeper again, there's plenty of information out there to do it, but we're gonna be talking about it from the level that we just went through, okay? So, all right, thank you very much.